How dude, how are you? And welcome to another Shaken Review. Kim Jong Il has died at 69. And I am absolutely mortified. I am heartbroken. And so are the rest of the North Korean people. Shall we see? No, I know, it really hurts. I feel ya. I feel your pain. Ah, oh, damn it, why did this have to happen? Why, why, why? Yeah. Now, why, why are all these people crying? Are they really crying because that Kim Jong-il was a great leader? And they really loved them and adored them? Or are they crying because if they don't, they'll probably, his like thugs who are still alive, will like beat them up and throw them in the dungeon. Yeah, but I don't care. He was a great man. Uh, hey, wait a minute, I'm Canadian. I'm not Korean. Why am I crying for? Enough of that. No. Uh, uh. Uh -huh. Ah, damn it, I can't help it, I'm still crying. Yeah, and all you people around the world, why don't you show some respect? Why don't you do a little bit of crying, you know, and like shed some tears for a great man? I mean, even though he was this little short. A uh, dictator who waddled like a duck when he walked, and he wore platforms, uh, shoes, and uh, he like uh, cropped up his hair an extra like two, three inches to make him look taller. And uh, he used to have a lot of like young, attractive females hanging around uh, his castles, and uh, he liked an occasional. Nice cigar and a glass of brandy. Yeah. This is absolutely horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all I wanted to tell you. And, uh, man, I can't help it. The hell with it. I have to let out my feelings. I must. Oh, and I know all you Americans, like a lot of you, and you Europeans, and you good-hearted people around the world, are also really hurt and upset like me. I know, I hear it, I feel it. And I just want to show you one thing here. Now. You see, every time a North Korean dies, if you don't cry, you get this. Yeah, you see that? You get that. Absolutely. And that's why they're all crying. All right, later now.